The really cold air that we had yesterday is retreating up to the northeast and today we have current temperatures in the middle 20s and some warmer air off to our south. 30 degrees in Chicago, 40 in Indianapolis, 36 in St. Louis and with winds that will be coming out of the southwest over the next couple of days that will help to bring up our temperatures. The snow we had earlier today has shifted off to the east. We're still seeing a few scattered snow showers over the UP. Most of that is lake effect snow off of Lake Superior. These lake effects snow showers will wind down. We're seeing lots of dry weather off to our west that is going to be settling into our area for tomorrow. A closer look at the ongoing snow showers. We are seeing some of those snow showers over eastern Berga and western Marquette counties. Also a batch of some snow showers drifting through Delta County and some snow showers over central and eastern parts of Alger County. So expect some slick roads as you go east of Munising. Some of those snow showers a little bit more persistent over the eastern sections of Alger County. Looking ahead to our New Year's forecast for tomorrow, highs near 28 degrees by the Lakeshore and Marquette County with partly cloudy skies, 18 degrees as we ring in the new year at midnight tomorrow night and highs near 31 degrees on January 1st. In interior parts of Marquette County, 26 degrees for tomorrow with partly cloudy skies starting off 2021 with temperatures near 15 degrees at midnight and highs near 29 degrees for Friday. In Houghton, mostly cloudy tomorrow, highs near 26 degrees, 16 degrees at midnight, and for January 1st, partly cloudy skies with highs around 29 degrees. We'll see plenty of sunshine for our New Year's Eve in Iron Mountain, mostly clear skies at midnight with temperatures near 12 degrees, and for January 1st, mostly cloudy, highs near 29 degrees. In Escanaba, mostly sunny for tomorrow with highs near 28 degrees. We'll have midnight temperatures as we ring in 2021 around 17 degrees and then for areas near the Lake Michigan shoreline there will be a chance of a few flurries on January 1st with high temperatures near 31 degrees. Tonight, our current round of some scattered snow showers will continue to diminish and we'll have drier air moving in. We should see some clearing heading into tomorrow with partly cloudy skies in the forecast, a dry Thursday across the board. Then on Friday, we'll likely have increasing cloud cover. Storm system is going to be moving into Michigan from the south. Not really much of a weather maker for us, but it will be bring in of uh, some snowy and wintry weather over parts of lower Michigan. We're going to get some cloud out of it and maybe a few flurries late on Friday by the Lake Michigan shoreline. Temperatures over the next several days are heading upward. Tomorrow we have highs in the middle to upper 20s upper 20s to around 30 degrees on Friday. Temperatures going above the 30 degree mark over the weekend. That's going to put us nearly 10 degrees above normal for Sunday afternoon and the warmth looks to persist beyond that. This is the long range temperature outlook from January 4th to January 8th and it is indicating from the Climate Prediction Center that there is a very good chance that across Michigan we are going to have above normal temperatures continuing at least through the first week of January. For tomorrow, we'll have high temperatures near 26 degrees, partly cloudy skies, evening temperatures in the teens. For Friday, starting off with morning temperatures around 10 or in the teens as we begin the new year. Highs near 29 degrees for Friday afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. On Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds, milder morning temperatures starting in the upper teens and 20s. Highs getting up to 31 degrees on Saturday, evening temperatures in the lower 20s. On Sunday, Starting off in the upper teens and 20s, we'll see partly cloudy skies with highs around 33 degrees. On Monday, morning temperatures in the 20s will have increasing cloud cover. Highs for Monday afternoon near 35 degrees and then a chance of flurries and moving in at night.